Well, I love his style, too. Looking classy at the game. Well, you love the hat, Vance, even though he's got it on backwards. But if he wins this tournament, <laughs> you could sell a lot of hats in poker rooms around the country, I'll tell you that. He's an extrovert, a lot of fun. But on this hand, Chris has raised the pot to 125. Ryan out, and Brian will splash around with the 10-7. Let's see what happens in the first three cards. 10-6-4. Both players a flop top pair. Brian is out kicked and his opponent has a flush draw, meaning Brian is in terrible shape here. He checks, Chris is gonna bet. 175. He check raises here. He better duck, because it could be in very, very serious trouble. Raise. Well, he is gonna check raise. Chris will be going nowhere, folks. Just a matter if he moves in here or if he just calls. Anytime you've got a pair in a flush draw, you're never, ever drawing dead. I don't care what the guy's got. So you're going to play the pot. He does play it, makes the call, go into the turn. And it pairs again, four. I'm all in. All in here by Brian. Well, that is not a good card for Chris. He's only got one card to go. Possibility could be drawn dead. Cool. He could be out kicked, but he's made the call with just two tens and a jack kicker. Has his opponent hemmed up about as good as you can have him. The only way he can lose this pot is to catch a seven. That's not the seven of hearts. Ace, king, or queen. Ace, king, or queen. They would split the pot if a 10 or a four came off, and Brian would love to split it right now because he is up against it. Well, this could be a great double up for Chris. There it is, it is a tie. This is gonna be a split pot. Both players have made fours over tens. What a tough spot for Chris Bolick right there. Unbelievable. I'd be kidding. He had him hemmed up about as good as you can have a guy, but yet Brian squirmed out with the tie. He sits back down, happy as a lark. 